first thing I'm doing is getting my Maybelline baby skin and I'm just going to go ahead and apply that onto my face and this is just going to make your makeup last as long as possible throughout the day so I'm just going to go ahead and blend that in. Then I'm getting my L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour foundation and I'm just going to dot that onto my face and blend it out with the beauty blender and I really like this foundation because of its coverage it's really like a nice kind of medium to full coverage and it also lasts really really well throughout the day so I'm just going to go ahead and blend that in and oh and by the way I'm in the shade um, 21 vanilla so I'm just adding a little bit extra and there's this foundation. And I'm just going to use my fingers just to tap it all in place. Then I'm getting my CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Concealer and I'm just going to go ahead and apply this as a triangle underneath my eyes and on any other areas of my face I would like to highlight. And I'm just going to go ahead and also blend that out with my beauty blender. So then I'm just going to go ahead and set the under eye um, with the Maybelline Fit Me Powder in the shade 120 and I absolutely love this powder for setting the under eye. And then I'm going to do some baking with the Face of Australia, the Face of Australia Loose Translucent Powder. And I'm just going to kind of do baking, so I'm just going to do that in like the highlight points, I guess. Then I'm getting a um, Elf Contour Kit, and I'm just going to use a little contour shade just to kind of contour my face and kind of add a little bit of bronze. And then I'm getting the Body Shop Bronzer um, and just kind of extra bronzing up the face. And I'm just going to go ahead and just dust off the excess powder from the baking. I'm then getting my Tarte blush and this is in the shade Exposed and I'm just going to go ahead and dust this onto the cheeks and I absolutely love this shade, it's so so pretty and it lasts really really well throughout the day. And then I'm getting my Becca Moonstone highlighter which is probably one of my absolute favourite highlighters and I'm just going to go ahead and dust that onto the high point of my face, so my cheekbones and so like my nose and you know, top of my lips, like right about those areas. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and just brush my brows through to kind of get them into shape. Then I'm getting my Too Faced Chocolate Bar Eyeshadow Palette and I'm getting the first shade which is vanilla and I'm just gonna go ahead and just dust that onto the lid. Then I'm getting this really nice caramel kind of shade. I'm just going to go ahead and dust that into the crease and a little bit over the lid to act as a transition color to make all the other eyeshadow blending really easy. Then I'm getting this really nice shimmery sort of <laughs> I'm getting this really nice shimmery sort of shade and I'm just applying that onto the lid to kind of add a little bit of glue and then I'm getting more pinky shade and applying that to the inner corners of the eye to kind of like really add this nice brightness sort of look. Then I'm getting a little bit of a darker shade and I'm just going to focus that onto the outer V of the eye and kind of act as like a circle surrounding the eye. Then I'm getting a darker shade and with a wing liner brush I'm going to create kind of a really nice soft sort of wing which is really nice. It's not as harsh as like a you know one with an eyeliner kind of wing but it just still kind of has a little bit of definition. And I'm just going to use the excess of whatever on the brush and just apply that underneath the eye. Then it's time to curl the eyelashes. So I'm just going to go ahead and curl the eyelashes. And then I'm getting my L'Oreal um, Manga Mascara and I'm just going to go ahead and apply that onto the lower lashes and the top eyelashes. Anastasia brow wiz. I'm just going to go ahead and start filling in my brows. I never really included this into my little makeup videos, but I thought I should. So I'm just going to go ahead and fill in my eyebrows. And there are the eyes done. So now I'm just going to add a little bit of extra highlight, and this is the Anastasia Starlight highlight. And I just felt like a little bit of some good glue, so I'm just going to go ahead and apply that onto the tops of my cheeks. Now onto lips, I'm just getting a Makeup Forever lip gloss and I'm just going to go ahead and apply that onto the lip. 
to finish it off, I'm just going to use a setting spray to set everything in place. And that is the finished look. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Hello the people of the earth, so today I have a huge holiday giveaway for you guys. So I have been planning this giveaway for quite some time now, so I hope you guys enjoy this video. And